Might be our shirt. What is that? University College. <laughs> Give us a lot. We'll see. Pipe stem. New, do we think? Yes. <laughs> Looking piece of metal. <coughs> Is that a leaf? I'm seeing things. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know what that could be. Clean it up and see. You never know. Wow, that is a find we've not found before. <laughs> it's a broken gobby. Ami gob, jack, five stone. See, these things are pretty sturdy, hence why we find a lot of them, but they're always whole. So that's that's gone through some real trauma. And actually, just up here. Nope, gotta get back down to the level. Oh yeah, this, is this part of a light bulb? Oh no, it's like a stone, stone thread. And then is this part of a pipe? No, I think it's a melted bottle. So I will be taking the broken gobby though, because I think that's quite spectacular that that's managed to be broken. Button, cog, coin. Hmm, maybe button, maybe not. We should be able to clean it and tell. And then just the tiniest bit of a shirt that could be interesting. What does it say? Ah, Keswick. Royal something. Hmm, maybe. It's a gravestone. Is it, a, is it a gravestone? Is that a grave for a robin? Oh my goodness. I have to apologise to people, my gloves will be getting wet and, wet and muddy, but that's what, is what they, they are for. Oh, is that who killed Cock Robin? It's very Christmassy. Oh no, it's a Robin grave. <laughs> Cock Robin who killed... I don't, I don't know the, the rhyme of Cock Robin. Maybe that can be our shared story, the, the history behind this. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to take it. It's just, it's a, it's a very, very odd piece of pottery. It's like another interesting piece of metal. Is it metal? Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's like a winder, like a handle. Oh, that's nice. Could be a winder. Definitely decorative. Oh my goodness, I came down because of this little arm. Wasn't an interesting shape. And I think we're in we're really lucky today because it's just been it's been raining all morning and all of yesterday. So normally this whole place is covered in a layer of thin mud, but the rain has got rid of it. And because of it, look! Yeah! It's a tiny little doll's arm with a really detailed hand, mould number six. Ah, oh, that is absolutely brilliant. It's even got little like muscle, like um, knuckles. Wow, and actually, oh my goodness. I think whilst I've been looking at this amazing tiny little hand, I just pan up slightly. Is that a gobby? Oh, no, <laughs> no it's not. And is this just an arm or a head? An arm. But look at that. That is amazing. Okay, oh, you can actually see things and colors. It's very unusual for here. Let's go. Now this will be really good for a miniature project. It's a tiny little school slate with lines. So yeah, that'll come in very handy, I'm sure. Bit of school slate. 
you've always got to check just in case you've got something written on them. <laughs> Someone hasn't there. Oh, has it? Wait a minute. Did it say something there? Oh, is that just scratching? <laughs> Am I seeing things? Oh, I don't know. Is there something there? Oh, that was cake. Now, what does that look like? I'm going to zoom in for you. Can you see it? Just here. Oh. <laughs> Can you see it? Just here. <gasps> oh, she's very dirty though. But we did see three magpies and there she is. Three for a girl. One for sorry, one for sorry two for joy, three for a girl. Yep. There she is. Oh, I'm not sure how she's going to clean out, but <laughs> this is a good spot. At the top. Is it that side or is it the other side? It looked like there was something. Not that edge, the top. I can't remember where it was now. Let me see. <laughs> Was that it? Yeah, is it, right? is it that edge? That edge? But obviously it isn't if you can't see it. It does look like there's something on the other side. Or one of them, it just looked like tiny, tiny writing. You see it in the light? Take it home and clean it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm not bad. Maybe, there might be, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Does that look like a bead? Oh, half a bead. Still good though. Still useful for lots of things. Nice. Okay, so I'm thinking now, because this is the second one, that it's going to be a case of getting down low and looking really closely at all of the exposed sort of colours we don't normally see and shapes not disguised by mud, because I never would have seen that. But down here, is it complete? Oh no. Oh, I think it's a leg missing a foot, but that is still more than I found in a while. So let's get down low and see what we can find. There is another broken one. Wow, okay. Well, maybe we'll find something really amazing in the tiny bits. Broken stopper. <laughs> That's not quite what I had in mind. Broken piece of clay pipe. Does it have anything on it? Oh my goodness! Oh, oh it's um the Masons? The Freemasons? Is it like the, the sun in the compass and the Illuminati? <laughs> wow, okay. Hmm. I'm not going to take it, but that is very, very cool. Hmm. Random metal bit, but will probably be very useful in a miniature craft. There's a button in the water. Is it a button? Oh, that would have been a good button too. If I had a shank that could be a little bit older, that could almost be, yeah. Oh, it's a shame. It's a teeny tiny handle. We actually need a teeny tiny handle for something we're making, so... Tiny! Tiny knob. I presume that says spoilt. Do you think that little boy is spoilt?
spongeware star or flower. So obviously this is broken but it looks interesting so I just want to see what it says. Is it registered trademark? And then it's a voluptuous lady I would say. Or a man with boxing gloves on. Somehow I think it's a voluptuous lady. <laughs> Strange, we're not even finding these recently, so that's just quite a nice sight. Not going to take it, because we've got enough, but it's a nice sight that it's whole. Tuck it in with the seaweed. Has this got something on the other side? Oh. Oh no, I keep on finding really stunning tiny bits of pipe. It's got a crown and a horn. Maybe that... Oh, wow! Oh, that's a proper doll head. That's what? Piece of head. But yeah. <laughs> that's a proper doll head. Oh. No, what's that? I don't know. And like look at that. Is wow. That a binder, maybe? Yeah. I'm not taking that. <laughs> Does it look mm. like Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. Here, let me. Just, it's just my doll arm really that needs to go in there. The one whole one. <laughs> it won't fit your doll. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute, though. It's a good one, isn't it? Nice. nice. Let's carry on. I just okay. I just picked something up, not thinking much of it, and I've put it back down because I think it's actually very exciting. It is something. Exciting. Yes, it is. So it's a heart-shaped bead. Oh goodness. Do you think it's going to be UV? Oh, it looks it, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. <gasps> if that's UV, that's incredible. We didn't bring a UV torch. No. Well, this uh, isn't a UV beach. No. Isn't that, I mean, even if it's not UV, that's still amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That's just like a pendant, isn't it? What a good day. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, I could turn that into a necklace straight away. Just obviously clean it up. Oh, that's amazing. I oh, imagine if it's UV. That would be incredible. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at the bits. And what is that brown thing? I can't flip it! It's a big brown thing. Hmm, so you get the lid. Hello, I think it's industrial. Okie dokie. That's a Oh, you've got something? <laughs> Oh, that's, is it a teapot? Oh, okay. It is a big piece. That would be very unlikely. Can you put this in the box? I know. <laughs> is this a tiny tile? Oh, oh. It's, it's printed. <laughs> oh my god, it's a tiny Wait. little, it has a company name, Wait, um, Dalton and Co, Dalton and Co, London. So that's probably something to do with bathrooms, Dalton, they like, a, like, a, like on a tap or something, it's a yeah. tiny, tiny printed ceramic, it's that's basically a printed lid, right? Kind of, kind of <laughs> house in oh my goodness. Wow, I was really not expecting that to be printed. Thought it was going to be a tile. It's like um, concave too. That is going to be really That's good. amazing. Oh, what an excellent day. Is this a glass paste gem or something from a computer? Something from a computer. But it really looks like a little sweet. It's from a motherboard. Mum. I. I don't know if there's a chance. It could be nothing, but it could be something really, really exciting. Is it? Is that a tiny pipe? Or is it the top of a something? It's a. It's, it's a greyhound! <gasps> What is that? 
What's it made out of? My pipe material. <gasps> Greyhound. Is it like a tamper? I don't know. I've got my glasses on. I have a look. Hey, take my tool a minute. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. Sorry, my film is being terrible here. Okay. <laughs> see, I need to wash him. Oh, he's got. Oh, is he what? I don't understand. Is he a tamper? Would they have had a hole in him if he was? Oh, he doesn't look like he's broken, does he? No, no. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go wash him. <laughs> Wow, he is amazing. Ah, I'm sinking. <laughs> Water is <there. laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's good, crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> It's like a greyhound, yeah? Yeah, he's a greyhound. I don't know what he is. No. Why do we keep it's finding bottle. unusual pipe clay things? Uh, it, there's a blue thing. Is that bottle broken, do you think? I know that's not as good as your... It's probably broken, isn't it? <laughs> I can't... <laughs> that one? Is it that's, broken? That's a bottle neck, I think. Oh, is it broken? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. That, wow. Wow, what a day so far. What? What? That is so incredible. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Top of a button, maybe. Like a weird shape. <laughs> I knew it was something because it was hollow inside. Oh, another one. Definitely three for a girl. Oh, she'll be good for oh, when the rain's coming. The rain's coming. She's beautiful. In the rain. The tiny, tiny find, the smallest find of the day. Oh, I don't think it is a bead. Thought it was. It's a button or a cabochon. I think it's black glass, is it? Oh, no, it's iridescent. Look at that. What's that then? I wonder if it's some kind of stone. Oh, okay, that requires further investigation. Exciting. Put it very carefully in the box. And I've walked a little bit up the beach. And there's another bead. Again, I don't think that one's black. That's one of those older wound ones. Might be like a deep purple or a deep blue. But we'll have to look in the roundup. Oh, the rain has just started. Quite, quite heavily, quite quickly. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Wait, okay, so the rain has started. What are the chances that this is going to have a head? It's missing its bottom of its legs. What are the chances? I don't think it's going to have a head, is no. it? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've got heads though. One day, oh. here, not yeah. oh, beyond the places obviously, yeah. but here, there should be so many here. Yeah. There should be. Oh, it's such a shame. Oh, what's that? It's a claw pipe. Oh, just the claw bit. And, and you say there's a bead. Yeah, just. <gasps> I see. Black jet bun. Oh. Yeah, faceted oh. one. Oh, it stopped raining though. Oh. oh. We can keep yeah. looking. We can. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go. That's what that was focused. <laughs> a bead, a black glass bead. I think it is. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, two things within this rot, this tiny knob. That's nothing gritty, but what's this over here? Oh, there's another tiny knob. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Oh, but there's a bead. <laughs> oh, is that a bead? Or is that just a blob of... Oh, what is that? Is that a hat pin? It's got, definitely got a hole, or is it a melted... Melted bead? It must be melted. It's a beautiful colour, though. Okay, this is slightly crazy, but here's another bead. Another black jet bead. <laughs> French wow. jet. Yeah. yeah. Not oh, jet. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, he's broken. I don't know how many black jet black black glass jet buttons we found now. Beads even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think this site is going to my head. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it's like you could have a whole jet black glass necklace. It's another one. Wow. I came down low to film a shot, an arty shot, and I think that's another bead. Ooh, that one looks old. That one looks more the age of some of the trade beads we've found here. That looks like a pretty old bead to me. Brilliant. A recognisable shape from very far away. A doll's leg and it's complete! Yes! Ah, oh, it's like the old days when we used to come here. A little doll's leg! Yay! Here, I've got the box open. Perfect! Got a lot of beads to add to it, actually, too. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. Excellent! That's a shame. It's just the top of a doll's head. But and not the back either, but. That is a marble. It must be. Very round. Ooh. I don't know what colour it is though. Is it black? Is it blue? Wow. Is this a blue ball? Is this a blue marble? <laughs> a blue ball? Is this a blue ball? Um, I will look. I'm just, I'm thinking there's a bead here. Okay. <laughs> Light bulb things, so I just want to see what uh. colour it is for our collections. <laughs> it is a blue ball. Oh my goodness, is it a blue cob model? Like black? Oh, is it a black cob model? You get black, black cob models. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> keep going. We're sinking though. Oh. Another black glass, but there's a button this time. That's a pretty one. Unusual. Usually they have metal shanks. It's got like a bit of iridescence on it. Is it another bead? Oh, it is! A white one. It's not black. I was going to say, they've all been black. Yeah. Oh, That's a, a white one. Oh, little face sticking out of the mud. No. I think Mum's found another bead. I think I have too. I think mine might be quite an exciting one. It's like you can have a whole jet black. Oh no, it's a bottle stop. It's a tiny little That's bottle stop. <laughs> wow. Vulcanite stopper. Just a bottled one, so we don't need that. Is this going to be whole? Oh, 
So almost nearly. So almost a complete tiny bottle. Let's shove them back in that way. It doesn't get further broken. I seem to have stumbled across a bottle thing. So unfortunately, broken poison. Is this one complete? Oh, I think it is. I think that's how it was supposed to be. Because that's a ground off top. It's got a tiny chip. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Do you think it's maybe salt or it's a very small hole? There's another one here. What do we think? Oh, Eiffel Tower lemonades. Almost, but not quite. But then there's another one here. What do you. What are you? Are you complete? Oh, <laughs> it is. Look at that tiny little bottle. I don't know what colour it is yet, but. Look at that. Wow, that doesn't happen here in about a year. More so, maybe. Oh, okay. That's so exciting. Vulcanite stopper. And what do we think? Is it going to be complete? Oh no, it's a shame. Okay, am I signing myself up for another heart, gearing myself up for another heartbreak? Is this one whole? Yeah! <laughs> yes it is! That is such a tiny bottle. Oh my goodness, what could you possibly, what sample could have possibly been in that that would make it worth the glass? Oh I see, okay. Oh no. I see lots of other stuff. I see a really sad broken bell ink. I see a broken doll's arm, but the most important. Oh no! Oh no, it's smooth. I don't think it is broken. Another doll arm that sort of matches. She's missing the tip of her fingers, but it sort of matches the one I found earlier. Yes! Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let's carry on. No way. No, I'm going to fall over in my excitement. No, is it complete as well? <laughs> what on earth? That's another tiny, tiny bottle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like some of the tiniest bottles you ever found. Oh my word. And then, what are you? Oh, a candlestick. Okay. Tiny, tiny, tiny bottle. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. And actually, oh, I can see that it's battered, but I can also see that it does have a crown. And, oh, a bust. I think it's Victoria. I mean, obviously it's missing its thing, but look. Oh, it's a Victoria pipe, pipe with a crown. Oh, it's a shame about the top. Yeah. But that, I'm still taking that. Oh, I've yeah, never look. found one with Victoria on complete. Oh, do you want to see my tiny bottles? I would like to see your tiny bottles. It's crazy. So. Uh, it's quite sinky. Yeah, it started with these two. Oh. Oh, what? Aren't they lovely? And then, if you take these quickly, and then it moved on to these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, what would you have in that? I do not know, that's what I said. What sample could possibly have made that size worth it? Pills, I imagine. Yeah. Pills. Wow. Aren't they okay. adorable? Oh, do you adorable. want to put them in your bag? Because yeah. I don't have a bag, thank you. Oh. Um, I will look, I'm just, I'm thinking that there's a bead here. Another black glass bead and um, another one of those um, light hold light bulb things. I just want to see what colour it is for our collection. My foot stuck! It is a blue ball. <sighs> oh my goodness, is it a blue cob marble? Uh, is that blue? <laughs> is this blue? Well, check. Let me have a look. Is this what I think it is? It probably. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a doll's jug, not a doll's head, but uh. that's still cute. <laughs> there is another one! And 
another... I'm really sorry about the gloves if it's stressing anyone out. I do apologise. It's... It's another tiny bottle. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yes. Brilliant. So, that was a trip that we took yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Turned it around pretty quickly. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. We haven't had such a good day for a very long time. Yeah. Very long time. And we found... Yeah. It was, mm. I mean, it, it, it's still not quite the days of old, but no. it was a very good day for us. Very, yes. very good day. And we found some amazing things. Mm -hmm. I think we got excited. We did, by the end. It was. Yeah, I couldn't speak properly anymore. <laughs> and I didn't even really find that much. <laughs> um, so what's your favourite find? I mean... It's obvious. <laughs> it's obviously... The Greyhound. It's clay pipe material. And um, it's a Greyhound. So it's not broken in any way. Nope. Quite apart from that tiny hole. Yeah. And he's got like muscular cheeks and his like snout and his mouth and he's got eyes. He's a bit moving. <laughs> he's been in the mould. Slippage. Yeah. <laughs> but he's amazing. Which I just don't know what he is. Know what he we? is. He's hollow. He's not broken. This is like smooth. This is what he was supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, you can see the seam. Yeah. And there's no hole in the end of his snout. So I think my best guess is a pencil topper. I know they had lead ones in Victorian times, but I, I can't find any examples of clay ones. But you know, he's been made in a mould, so. Well, I mean, they had really fancy, because I found that pencil sharpener, didn't I? You did, Really, yeah. really ornate pencil mm -hmm. sharpeners. And they did have lovely silver pens that possibly it could have, I don't know, just a fancy a pen up, I don't mm. know. But you can't find any, any. Nope. Can't find anything like this. Yeah, no idea. No, no. I mean, they made um, cake. Cake hold, can holders, but that's, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. We keep finding strange clay, clay pipe materials. Pipe things. Yeah. Because we've got the little guns that you put the water plastic mm -hmm. rubber end on, but no, it's got no hole for that. Mm. So. But he's beautiful. Yeah, I love him. He's amazing. He's uh, not Roman. No. We have been to see the flow about uh, last week's um, find. We've handed it over. She seemed very positive. Excited, so we will keep you informed on that. She actually wrote Roman on the form. Yes, she did. She, yeah, and she said, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. <clears throat> if any of you have seen anything like it before or could you know, have any suggestions, we would love to hear in the comments down below. Yeah, we'd like to know, but we can't find it. No. I mean, I struggled when I was trying to find the figure. I mean, they just didn't. No. There's no record of them really making anything out or clay pipe material mm -hmm. apart from the water pistols. Yeah. But yeah, and they they were quite a bit further on because they're quite crisp, aren't they? Mm. It's quite a later thing. Yeah. And this place, there's not really much younger than Victorian, is there? No. There's no. no. It's and there's we found. Um, like seventeenth century, um, what well, trade beads, raspberry prints, raspberry prints, prints well. and trade beads. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it could be older. I don't, like. don't know. What's your favourite find? My amber cod marble. Yes, which I will have to do a cutaway because it just looks black, black. But in the light, it's actually a very beautiful amber colour, and that's very exciting and quite rare. Yes. Uh, in the film, I said black, blue, but it's actually amber. Yes. <laughs> I knew it was a cod marble. We got mm -hmm. that bit correct. Shame it's not actually in the bottle, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. You said the R Whites used to. R Whites had some amber ones, yeah. Yeah. Definitely not a marble, is it? Because no, I don't think so. Yeah. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. It is very, very cool. Marble collection. 
And then my second favourite find, I am torn between two. Yes, I imagine like you are. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know which one. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this. Yeah, that's one. the one I would go for. Yeah. So this, it's not UV, unfortunately, but it is a sort of milk glass heart pendant. Uh, well, bead, I mean, that would have been very big, big it? especially yeah. in the Victorian times, mm -hmm. I don't think they would have been. But it's beautiful, and it's sort of like... Um, scored? Scored, ridged, a bit like... What are they? What are the Japanese games glass pieces called? Oh. I shall oh, write it on the on the screen now, so I will butcher it. But it looks a bit like one of those. That's the, the yeah. sort of finish they have on the top. But yeah, it's beautiful. Just a big. I think it probably would have been a pendant. I think so. It would have probably had, a, 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 yeah, it would have been a dangly one, and it yeah. would have had other things. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We've tried really hard to clean the inside. I need to get in there with something. Big it's, hole, isn't it? It's a big hole. It's so beautiful and it's heart shaped. I really, really like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Not just like solid colour, it's sort of got it's got like it's sort of stripy. I'll have to do a macro. Yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah. That's my second favourite find. Amazing, very exciting. And then my third favourite find, a very close second, is my teeny tiny little bottle that's aqua. It's a beautiful colour. It's such a beautiful colour and it's so tiny and it's perfect. It says 986 on the bottom. But it's a tiny little apple one. <laughs> it's so small. It could have been like smelling salts. Yeah. Maybe. Or pills, tiny, tiny tablets. Smelling salts though, maybe. Because mm -hmm. it is very, very small, isn't it? It is very small. And it's got beautiful, I don't know what it's called, but like the swirls on the glass. Well, it's not. It's, does it blow? It can't be. It doesn't have a seam. Oh yeah, it does. Aye. But it doesn't go all the way to the top. But it's got a seam on one, on the, on two of the sides, like the edges. Mm. But they don't go all the way to the top. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful, tiny, tiny, tiny little <laughs> bottle. <laughs> and I love it, and the colour is amazing. Teeny tiny ones are my favourite. Yep. <laughs> it's got some bubbles in the corners too. Amazing. I'm talking of teeny tiny. Got this one too, which is wonky. Again, the seam doesn't go all the way to the top. But that one has seams on the side. Tiny little bottle. Slightly larger. Tiny bottle. And then a slightly larger <laughs> little bottle. Ooh. The top of that one, you can see. Yeah, it's sort of like a rolled. And that one's slightly amber, to, um, aqua too. Not as aqua. And then this lovely one. It's got a weird shape, that one. It sort of goes inwards, inside. It does. I think it would have been possibly some sort of perfume. perfume but with like a silver top. Mm hmm. Or um, rose water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eau de toilette, mm -hmm. which I know means perfume now, but didn't then. It was literally toilet water, I think. Eau de toilette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, le, le means water. <laughs> <call> that. <laughs> le means water. Toilette obviously means toilet. It's toilet water. I mean, that sounds awful, but... <laughs> Simply means water of the toilet. Yeah, water toilet. No. no. And refers to the scented water used to perfume the body and hair. Toilette was in common usage in English, but it's fallen out of fashion in recent years. So nothing to do with toilets, then? I meant in toilet as in looking after yourself. In like French, literally, water for washing and dressing. Yes, yes. like when you wash yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I think that's sort of where the word toilet came from, isn't Grooming it? Grooming water. It was a lavatory. So, but it became a toilet. Is that not the, from the French word to sort of look after yourself and clean and... Yes, the word toilet is French in origin and is derived from the word toilette, which translates as dressing room, rather than today's meaning. Okay, there you go. I thought it wasn't wrong. <laughs> The toilet itself has its root in another word, toil, which means cloth. This cloth would be draped over someone while their hair was being groomed. Ah. Yeah. Yes. That's so you weird, were, isn't it? How it got yeah. to be a mean a toilet. Yeah. From a, a cloth that you had draped over you whilst your hair was being done to... Okay, you do this water closet. It used to be called. Yeah. Sorry, we've stopped talking about toilet. But, now. yes. Oh, um, but I bet it's got associations with it that. It does, actually, yes. <laughs> it's the, uh, the Dalton & Co. London. Tiny little crazed printed. I think it probably went something. over the top of a screw or something in it, like a yes, possibly water thing tap. Not a tap because it would have H. Yeah. Or C on it, but I mean you don't want screws exposed in a bathroom, do you? That's no. probably would have gone over. Mhm. Mm I'm just rambling now. <laughs> um, we've got our very unfortunate but still exciting for me. If I just cover that bit, you don't know. Our uh, Queen Victoria pipe with the crown on the other side. It's an older Victoria. Oh, it's such a shame that it's not more complete. But you get to see her whole face is there, so. I don't. I think they may find a pipe there again. The hmm. more storms and things. It's just a shame about my doll's heads. Well, this one I think could just maybe do with. Oh, she has been burnt. Yeah, she's she? been burnt badly. Oh, such a shame. We can still use her though. Really? We can, yeah, maybe we can like repaint. Maybe we can paint her. She'd be slightly deformed. No, her face is full fine. It's really? just, it's just, um, yeah, she's yeah, got no just, like. There's no lumps on her. There's no lumps, no, it's just, just sort of um, burnt in. Yeah. Grime. Grime. But. We could paint her then. We maybe. could paint her, yeah. Because she's very beautiful and she's complete. She's very maybe. small. Yeah, and she's got her shoulders. So, yeah, maybe we'll do a restoration job. On her, and then this one is a shame because she's got such a beautiful face. She's old. Mhm. Mm yeah, she's lovely. I think she could be very early Victorian or even Georgian, to be honest. Mhm. Mm yeah, she's lovely. But we can use her some way. Mhm. Mm um. Limbs. Is that the same? Mm. Is that the other arm of that one? No, it's a bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, it's very similar. Shame it's missing its fingers. Yeah. Arms and a leg. <laughs> the, the most common found bit of a frozen Charlotte. He's got so many of those. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All the heads. We found a couple, but there must be so many but heads think, out there. I don't think they're actually frozen Charlotte heads. I think they're doll heads. We've never found a frozen Charlotte head. You are. Well, you found one, and you built a frozen Charlotte out of it. I did. Yeah. The other two were sort of Frank heads. They would have had mm. like moving arms. Yeah. We've got some tiny. Yeah. I think we might have some heads for these ones because they have like hair, like, like <laughs> <laughs> something like. Yeah, see, they've got hair. Well, French shoulders do have hair, but they're all. I don't know. Mm. It's not, is it? No. Oh. Well, oh. we found a few tiny, tiny heads, haven't we? Yeah. Not. They will work, then. This um, new light bulb, I thought I'd forgotten the name of them. <laughs> don't ask me. We started a collection of them and I've forgotten their name. But this one is purple, the most common colour. But it is a big one, and it is complete, so it will go in the collection. There was nothing on my slate, was there? Nothing on the slate, no. Unfortunately. And a whole lot of beads. Some that I think could be quite old. This one particularly just looks and feels old. Look round. Yeah. And it's got, like, bits in it. <laughs> things <laughs> opposed to like you know if you look and it's sort of porous if you compare these two look yeah it's not so shiny is it no and i don't think that's where i think it's the yeah. material yeah so yeah 
And then you'll this miss This one could be a palm tree, but melted. It could be, yeah. Yeah. Definitely looks like it. And then your mystery find. Another one. <laughs> it looks really quite crude. I don't under, I do, I really, I thought it was a winder, but then I realised it's got a very, very pointy end. It's mm. very sharp. Like it would have, I don't know. I have no idea. No. So again, please let us know in the comments down below. Did it look like it was kind of gold coloured? Look like painted. Mm, it might have been, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Instrument. Yeah. So yes, please let us know in the comments down below. And they were our finds. Oh, this one wasn't anything kind of. No, it wasn't. <laughs> And neither was my round thing. A really good day. It was a really good day. It, yeah, it, it was nice to be finding things. Mm -hmm. And in other news, we are doing Madness this year, as this will be the fourth year. But unfortunately, because of some other circumstances, it's only going to be six days. The six days of Madness this year. And it will be the, le the week leading up to Christmas. So we do have to just massively apologise that it won't be. And there will be no Minimus on the other channel, but we are putting out three really long films of one project that's exciting over on that channel as well. There is a community post about it on the miniature world of Kit and Caboodlers. So we just have to apologise. We hope you understand. They're going to be a bit different, aren't they? These, this, <laughs> these Mudmus films are going to be a bit different, yes. But they have to be, you can't, it, that's what we've always done with Mudmus, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, four years now, so. Yeah. That's, well, the three years, that's, so three years, that's like 36 Mudmus films so far, so yeah, they'll be a little bit different this year. But we hope you still enjoy. We have to say a massive thank you, as always, for everyone that likes, comments and subscribes. We have to say a massive thank you to our Patreons. We're going to be putting up a film around the New Year for the Patreons as a sort of thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for anyone that donates in any other way. It means a lot. Hope you're having a good December and we'll see you in Badness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so thank you as always and bye! Bye! So this week's shirt story is a little bit different. A bit Christmassy. Yeah. We are going to be talking about the origins of Cock Robin and more specifically the nursery rhyme who killed Cock Robin because we have a little shirt here it has a grey chest <laughs> it's a <laughs> crazy shirt. It's so funny. I don't know what's on his grave. It's a hat. It's a, his hat. Maybe it's his hat. So the earliest record of the rhyme is in Tommy, Tommy Thumb's Pretty Songbook, published in 1744, which noted only the first four verses. The extended version was not printed until 1770. I think we'll just read the first four verses because it's a very long, long rhyme. Who killed Cock Robin? I, said the sparrow, with my bow and arrow. I killed Cock Robin. Who saw him die? I, said the fly, with my little teeny eye. I saw him die. Who caught his blood? I, said the fish, with my little dish. I caught his blood. Who'll make the shroud? I, said the beetle, with my thread and needle. Beetle and needle do not rhyme. Beetle, needle, close enough. <laughs> I'll make the shroud. Who'll dig the grave? I, said the owl, with my pick and trowel. I'll dig the grave. So there you go, a very Christmassy um, <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> well, we would just have to say it isn't a Christmas rhyme. Robins <laughs> are just sort of become synonymous of Christmas, at least in England. Yes. Yeah. Do you know why? I know why. Because they're like one of the only birds that are active in winter? No. Yeah? No, because they were likened to the postman because they had red oh. chests and the. I don't know why just postmen were Christmassy, but they just put them on cards Christmas because cards they're. Yeah, yeah, because they're. Yeah. Cards. I think the postman called. 
open bread possible. I could be completely wrong, but I think that's correct. <laughs> um, so, although the earliest known record of the song is from the mid 18th century, there is some evidence that it is much older. Um, the death of a robin by an arrow is depicted in a 15th century stained glass window at Buckland Rectory in Gloucestershire. Um, the rhyme is similar to a poem, Philip Sparrow, written by John Skelton in about 1508, in which the narrator laments the death of his pet bird. The use of the rhyme, owl with shovel. That's they not what I just they read. <laughs> did, what did he say? Trowel, Trowel. Which does rhyme with owl. Owl, yeah. I'm thinking... Could, uh, the, rhyme, the use of the rhyme owl with shovel could suggest that it was originally used in older Middle English pronunciation. So it would have been shoval. Owl, shoval. <laughs> um, and versions of the story appear in, exist in other countries, including Germany. So there are a couple theories as to the origin of the rhyme. One is that it records a mythological event such as the death of the god Balder from North mythology, or the ritual sacrifice of a king figure, as proposed by early folklorists, as in the Cutty Wren theory of a pagan survival. Wow. <laughs> it, it, it could be the parody of the death of King William II, who was killed by an arrow while hunting in the New Forest in hmm, 1100, is that how you would say it? and was known as William Rufus, meaning red, so Robin, and red breast. Um, it could be connected with the fall of Robert Walpole's government in 1742, since Robin is a diminutive form of Robert, and the first printing is close to the time of the events mentioned, so close to his, the fall of his government. And then, according to Celtic traditions, hmm, Lou, Laugh, Laugh, L-U-G-H, the sun god, Celtic, Lau, Lau, Lu, Lu, Lu. Luf. The sun god who dies as the nights get longer after the summer solstice, very sad, oh. is marked in the old Celtic pictographic calendar with a bow and arrow shape. Um, Lu, Luf, was the primary god representing the red sun and is also known in Welsh as the Cock Re Ben, anglicised to Cock Robin. Oh. Mm. Cock meaning red, re meaning lord, and ben meaning leader, a nod to the belief that souls became birds after death, oh. which is beautiful. Yeah. The sparrow who kills him with my bow and arrow represents Bran the Blessed, the god of winter in the form of a raven. Oh. So that also. That does sound. Yeah. Yeah. So these are all sort of similarities in the text to legendary or historical events, or based solely on similarities of name. But Peter Opie, who was part of a married team of folklorists, he was married to Iona Margaret Balfour Opie, and they applied modern techniques to understanding children's literature and play in studies such as the Oxford Dictionary of Nursery Rhymes and the Law and Language of School Children. I want to read the Law and, <laughs> the law and Language of School Children. I think that would be really fascinating. <laughs> But Peter Opie pointed out that an existing rhyme could have been adapted to fit the circumstances of political events in the 18th century. So yeah, that is the rhyme of who killed Cock Robin. I'm just going to read the end, it's very long, but I, I wonder if they say, you know, it just ends with all the birds of the air, although it's unable. Oh, huh? <laughs> I got confused because I was reading it and then at the end it says who will toll the bell I said the bull because I can pull I'll toll the bell but it's all about birds so I'm assuming that's like a bull it's a rush what's a no yeah is there that bull the only animal bull is the only I thought there were other animals why not read other animals Dove, lark rook owl oh beetle fish I take yeah, it back no, yeah I was gonna say I saw the oh. fish and they caught it in his little yes. dish the Sorry, blood, okay, which yes. is horrible yes it is <laughs> Um, so yes, it ends with all the birds of the air fell a sighing and a sobbing when they heard the bell toll for poor Cock Robin. The rhyme also has an alternative ending in which the sparrow who killed Cock Robin is hanged for his crime. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is a children's oh, and then nursery rhyme. Several early versions 
picture a stocky, strong-billed bullfinch tolling the bell, which may uh, have been the original intention of the rhyme. Right. But you can't have a fish bird or a beetle bird. No. But yes, yes, a ho it's sort of horrible, <laughs> horrible thing. And then this is like a children's um, cup. Yeah, this is a nursery that. rhyme cup because, like, of how small it is. This is for children. Yeah, definitely and it's, for children. And it's got a grave of a robin on yeah, it. Well, the Victorians. But they were, were obsessed with yeah, it, weren't they? They were obsessed with death. Well, people died at a very young age. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, people died at a much younger age. They and did. Many people didn't make it past childhood. Many yeah. children didn't. So it was like an everyday. Yeah. You had to. Mm -hmm. There was no hiding from it, really. Yeah. It's horrible. <sighs> But yes, that is the rhyme of Who Killed Gold Robin. It's odd that it doesn't have a moral though. Most of the... there's no moral, is there? They all come together to... Mourn him. To mourn him and do all they can all do the stuff. So it's sort of... Um... Who will carry the coffin? I said the kite. If it's not through the night, I'll carry the coffin. I said, uh, who will be chief mourner? I said the dove. I mourn for my love. I'll be the chief mourner. It's horrible. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> who will be the parson? I said the rook with my little book. I'll be the parson. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, it goes like normally I. Whenever we find these, I quite often know all of the nursery rhymes. Yeah. But I was never read Who Killed Cockroach. Well, I know there's a reason for yeah. that. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, there was the shared story this week. What are the thing? What are the animals on it? Just birds. What kind of bird is that? I'm guessing it's a. I don't know, one of the birds. Sparrow? I don't know.